Thanks. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, to make stomp rockets, we first got to start with the launcher. And for that, we need PVC piping. We got a two foot section, a one foot section, another one foot section, a little tiny section, and another one foot section, and then another one foot section. I got these at the hardware store. It comes in an eight foot section, and it was $2. And I cut them in the parking lot using a hacksaw. So be careful with the hacksaw because you don't want to hacksaw your eye out. And then this section that is an X, and then this section that's a 45 degree angle section. And you could use a right angle section if you just want your rocket to go straight up. We got two end caps. Those are going to go on the end of those two pieces. So you kind of get the layout going on here. We're going to need a two liter bottle. I have found that the green ones work the best. They last longer. I don't know why. Some tape, glue. Now I got fancy smancy glue. You can use whatever you want. Just something to keep this section, the middle part of your launcher, from exploding when you stomp on this. Some scissors and some heavyweight paper. Now, we're going to skip ahead. We're going to have a magic timeline thing, and we're going to be like, this is all going to just come together. And if you can't figure out that this goes in here, you should probably ask your mother. And boom! And ta-da! Look at it. We've got a launcher. And so our rocket's going to go up here. And... We're going to use that two liter down here, and I'll demonstrate this for you later. And it just perfectly fits. And we're going to stomp on this. It's going to launch our rocket. Now, let's build the rocket. And that's why we have this section. This one foot section is so that it's like mimicking this section. It's like, hey, we're twins. Yay. And we're going to use our paper. And this to make a rocket. All right, now we got to make the rocket. We got the PVC pipe. We're going to need two of those pieces of paper, some scissors, and the tape. So we're going to roll and make, a, make the fuselage of the rocket, the main part. We're going to roll it like this. Uh, what I found works the best, though, is on some flat surface like this whiteboard, I take the tape, I go like that on the whiteboard, carefully peel it off, flip it over, and I'm going to get a perfect roll. Now you don't want to roll too tight, you need to have a little bit of looseness in your roll. Whoop! And there you go. And the PVC pipe needs to slide in and out like this in order for it to work really well. So you've pretty much got the main part of your rocket done. Now, we need to make a cone on the top and to make a really nice cone, we just need a potato shaped piece of paper, cut through the middle. Whoop. And this is great because you can make a really great cone by taking it going like this and going So now I have a cone. And that took all of 30 seconds. So got off the excess. And the hard part doing this without, you know, someone else helping you is getting the cone taped, but you know, we're human, so Having opposable thumbs makes everything much more grand. Without opposable thumbs, the world would be a very boring place full of not us. And my cone is really, really misshapen, but that's okay because it's not the shape of your cone that matters. It's just that it's on the top of your rocket. Okay. So, yeah, you can see how horrible this is, but it's still going to work. It's still going to work. So I just kind of set my cone on the end, 
and that's probably the worst cone I've ever made while doing this. And so the best thing that you can do when you screw up something in life is to post it to the internet so billions of people can see. Yeah, that's the ugliest thing I've seen ever. Woo -hoo -hoo. Okay, so so we got we got the main part of a rocket. Now you could just put this on your stomp rocket like pew 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 lasers. But what's this missing? What do we see on every rocket that ever really existed? We need some fins. Now we're gonna make those fins. And then from personal experience, my cone is just gonna fly off when I stomp on it unless I really 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 tape this and. I am obviously on the struggle bus today when it comes to tape, but hey, well, at least it's short and the struggle bus is going places that I've never been before. Struggle bus! Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That is, that is just horrible. But at least it'll stay on. All right, so I'm going to make my fins and I'm going to sing you a little song while I make them and we're going to kind of do a little, like, Video montage of montages of the fins being made. Let's go. Whoop. Go, oh, oh. go stomp rockets. Go stomp rockets. All right, there's my fins, and they are ugly, but they're going to work because it doesn't really matter if you wanted to make a perfect rocket. It will fly a lot farther. But you notice what I have is the tape here. Now, it's kind of important that my rocket spins, so I'm going to put this at a little bit of an angle to all the other ones. And if I did not tape the other side of these fins... Yep, see, now, it, well, it kind of stands like that. If I don't tape the other sides of these fins, they're just going to rip off when I stomp on it. So, I'm going to tape the other side of these fins just to make them a little bit stronger. You know, can't make it any strong enough. So, we're going to just tape this like this, and, you know, tape like, like this. And this rocket really, really looks like a five-year-old made it, so good for me. I think I deserve a cookie. And boop -a -doop, I got a rocket. Take your entire build out to a field somewhere. I went out to a soccer field. And you're going to attach the two liter to the end of your launch platform. And you want it to be a couple inches from the end. You don't want it all the way in, otherwise you'll lose some energy when you stomp on it. And then you want to make sure that you stomp in the middle of the two liter because otherwise you're going to blow out the back side and you don't want to blow out your back side of your two liter. And so you stomp on it and it goes woo 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 and uh, the pink one went 75 yards and we really weren't trying here folks. So if you wanted to make something really fancy, you could probably get something that could go over 100 yards or around 100 meters or, or farther. Just, just try it. It's a lot of fun. Thank you for watching. This has been Justin Higgins with Science with Higgins. And a special thank you to Keith Robert Mann for helping me finish this vi video. And to the rest of you on Earth, may the power of PVC compel you. And when you're not using this thing, it makes you know it can be like, or eee!